Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to fix the unsupported video driver error. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe Premiere Pro, I want you to click the sign up option. From here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. If you encounter the unsupported video driver error in Adobe Premiere Pro, it typically indicates an issue with your graphics card driver or compatibility. All right, so once you open the Adobe Premiere Pro, one of the first things that you need to do is go to the file section, go to the project settings, and go to general. Normally, if you encounter problems like unsupported driver, you might want to go to the section right here. Make sure that the GPU is selected properly as mercury playback engine gpu acceleration especially if you have updated the graphics driver if not you might want to use the mercury playback engine software only for now click on ok and hopefully that would fix the issue another option is go to the edit then click the preferences click the the uh, general option from here, there should be a window where you can click the show system compatibility issues at startup. If you don't want it, just untick that option and click on OK. So these are some of the options that you can do. And then the last option, which is kind of crucial, is I want you to I want you to go to the start button, type in dev manager. That would lead you to the device manager. All right. Yes. Wait for it. What will happen is the device manager should appear and i want you to go to the display adapters all right and then right click on the nvidia geforce gtx 1050 or whatever your gpu driver is i want you to click on the update driver to see if there's going to be a missing uh, driver that will fix the issue of the unsupported video driver so you have two options search automatically for drivers or you can browse your computers for drivers whichever you prefer you can always go here search automatically for drivers all right and you can click the search for updated drivers on windows update another option is if you're using gtx you might want to go to the nvidia official website and go to the studio driver for geforce gtx or rtx desktop gpus all right and from here just download the driver accordingly if you think that you don't have the latest driver and that would potentially solve the problem thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one